This is SAT test 5, calculator question number 15. College Board is asking about a survey. Almost every SAT will ask about interpreting or critiquing an experiment or a survey, and these take a lot of time to read and consider, so always read them carefully. The polling agency recently surveyed 1,000 adults who were selected at random from a large city and asked, are you satisfied with the quality of air in the city? Of those surveyed, 78% percent responded that they were satisfied with the quality of air in the city. Based on the results of the survey, and always answer based on the results of the survey or experiment, which of the following statements must be true? Choice one, of all adu adults in the city, 78 percent are satisfied with the quality of air in the city. You don't have a guarantee that a survey will give an accurate result. That's why they have a margin of error and sometimes results are outside the margin of error of the true value, so choice one is not correct. Choice two, if another thousand adults selected random from the city were surveyed, 78 percent of them would report that they are satisfied with the air quality in the city. Again, because of random variation in which individuals happen to be chosen, you can't guarantee you will get exactly the same result twice in a row from a survey, so choice two is not correct. Choice three, if a thousand adults were selected random from a different city and surveyed, 78% of them would report that they were satisfied with the quality of air in their city. This one makes no sense at all. The satisfaction in one city should not be a good predictor of air quality satisfaction in another city. I've lived in cities with questionable air and I've lived in and visited cities with really great air and satisfaction is very different. So this one would also not be true. So based on the results, which of the following statements must be true? None of them have to be true. So choice A would be the correct answer. Always take your time critiquing the results of a survey or experiment. And come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.